even from three games. That's just, it's insanity a little bit. How's it going, guys? M-W-T is here for another video just to let you guys know. I need you guys, though, to go down into this section down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also give it a thumbs up because uh, that's always what uh, we'd like to see on these videos. And today we're going to go over the uh, the Halloween games. Um, Thursday, October 31st, there were three games played. So we're going to go over those games. And uh, let's start it off with a, with a very great game. The Atlanta Hawks versus the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat, of course, won this game. With 106 to 97 being the final score, um, let's go over the box score really quick um, for the starting lineup for three, each team. Jimmy Butler had a 5.9 rebound, 11 assist, six steal, and three block game. That's an impressive stat line. They're just gonna say he was two blocks away from having a five times five, so that's pretty pretty cool. Bam, who had 12 points. Six rebounds, seven assists, one steal, and two blocks. Myers Leonard, who had 16 points, eight rebounds, two assists, and two blocks. Duncan Robinson had a 12.3 rebound game. And Kendrick Nunn was the leading scorer for the team with 28 points, two rebounds, two steals. Off the bench, the leading scorer was Tyler Harrow, who had 17 points, four rebounds, three assists, and one steal. So pretty good game from everyone. Now looking at Atlanta's score, uh, box score, um, DeAndre Hunter has four points, three rebounds, one assist, one steal, one block. John Collins added in with 12 points, uh, seven rebounds, one assist, one steal, and three blocks. Alex Len had five points, four rebounds, one assist. Kevin Herter had seven points, four rebounds, one assist. And Cam Reddish had nine points, six rebounds, four assists, one steal, one block. Not a really great game for the starters. Off the bench, the main score was Jabari Parker, who had 23 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. And the other double-digit double score, scorers were DeAndre Bembry, who had 18 points, uh, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, and 2 steals. And Tyrone Wallace with 12 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so... It was a great game, okay game to watch, actually. Um, the only time the Atlanta Hawks led was in the first quarter. They were up six points two times. And then the Miami Heat completely blew it all away. Um, and they led the rest of the game. They were up by 18 points during the third quarter. Um, and they never gave up the lead. So that could be a tribute to why they won. Um, but without Trey Young, the Atlanta Hawks are now exposed. Because they've been so good because uh, of Trey Young. But now that he's out with his injury, um, this kind of shows their weakness. So, like I said, they could be that middle of the pack, like ninth, 10th seed team. So, But I don't know if they would be in playoff contention. Um, now looking over to the second game, New Orleans versus Denver. Um, New Orleans finally got their first win uh, in a what seemed to be a great game. 122 to 107, the Pelicans win. Let's take a look at the box score really quick for this game. Uh, Denver, their uh, starters, Torrey Craig with two points, two rebounds. Paul Millsap had a 10.3 rebound game. Nikola Jokic, who had 13 points, six rebounds, six assists, and one steal. Gary Harris had 9 points and 2 rebounds with 1 steal and 1 block. And Jamal Murray with a 14.3 rebound, 6 assists, and 1 steal game. Off the bench, the notable players, uh, there were 4 players in double digits off the bench. Jeremy Grant with 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 block. Making his NBA debut, Michael Porter Jr., who had the most points out of the entire team with, five, with 15 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. Malik Beasley had 11 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. And Monte, not Monte Morris, Mason Plumley. sorry, I meant to say that. Mason Plumley with 10 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 1 block. So, a pretty great game from Denver, but for New Orleans, this is where we have to look at. 
Brandon Ingram had 25 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. Nicolo Melli had 7 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. The leading scorer for the Pelicans was Jaleel Okafor, who had 26 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steal, 1 block. Drew Holiday had 19 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals. And I actually saw this um, like while it was happening. Lonzo shot a 3-pointer. He had only 9 points, 3 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. And that was the thing. They showed the dunk. I think they showed like a dunk where, like, who was it? Gary Harris or Jamal Murray? I, I don't know. They like dunked like over Jaleel Okafor. But then I think Lonzo Ball, he had an incredible pass play right after it. and But they were just so focused on the dunk. But that pass right after it was beautiful from the Pelicans. That was a great play call. Looking off the bench, their main scorer off the bench was Frank Jackson. He had 21 points, 3 rebounds, and 1 steal. So, I mean, it was a nice game to watch. Um, looking at the box score, I mean, matchup right here. Um, Denver was up by two points during the first quarter. That was their only lead. I mean, the Pelicans came in, handled their business, and they were up by 22 points, like, during the fourth quarter. They handled their business and won the game. So, it was a back-and-forth game for most part, but, um, well, not back-and-forth, what am I saying? It was tightly contested, but then the Pelicans blew it away. Um, they, they completely blew out the Denver Nuggets. Um, now, last game we got to go over, uh, San Antonio versus the Los Angeles Clippers in the Staples Center. The Clippers won 103-97. San Antonio, their, um, their guys were DeMar DeRozan, 29 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal, but he had 7 costly turnovers. Marcus Aldridge only chipped in 5 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 blocks. Trey Lyles, who had 4 points, 4 rebounds. DeJounte Murray had an 8 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steal, and 1 block game. And Brian Forbes, 9 points. Only thing notable right there, 9 points. Off the bench, the main scorer off the bench was Derek White, who only had 20 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. Meanwhile, for the Clippers, coming back off after being off load management, the main scorer, Kawhi Leonard, who had 38 points against his former team, 12 rebounds, 1 assist, and 4 steals. Um, Patrick Patterson, 0 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal. 0 for 5. All from 3-point range. Um, if I... If you, if you, Okay, Zubats had 6 points, 5 rebounds. Landry Shamet had 7 points and 2 assists with 1 steal. Patrick Beverly, 8 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Off the bench, the notable scorers. Lou Williams, obviously, with 12 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. And, of course, Montrez Harrell, who had 24 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 block. Um, looking at the matchup right here, actually. Um, it was a pretty closely contested game for the first half. Um, um, the Clippers were up by six multiple times during the first quarter. They blew that, let the Spurs come up by one a couple times, and then the Clippers blew it away in the second half when they were up by 13 in the fourth quarter, and they won the game by six. So, it was an okay game. It was an okay game to watch. Um... Now, um, there is a little bit of a report here that I want to talk about um, because you obviously hear about players taking like load management games. Um, just imagine this, and I want you to think about it. Um, what if the concept of load management was a thing when Derrick Rose was trying to regain his footing? If Derrick, if they had a thing called load management back in 2011 do you think Derrick Rose would have gotten injured in the way that he did if there was a thing called load management do you think that Derrick Rose 
would have the career that he has right now with all the injuries he sustained? I want you to answer that question for me um, either in the poll or in the comment section because it's a pretty interesting thing to imagine. Just imagine, would Derrick Rose be the person he is today or would he be much, much better if load management was a thing? Now, keep in mind, the Chicago Bulls play the Detroit Pistons tonight in Chicago. So, on the on the visit back to Chicago, we're going to find out. Um, but, I want to thank you guys for, you know, watching the video. Please, subscribe to the channel down below and give this video a like. Um, our next goal is 160 subscribers. Let's get this video um, much up there. So, thank you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.